Get $1,000 cash back and a free programmable Wi-Fi thermostat with the purchase of any new AC system from Premier Heating and Air. Payments starting as low as $89 per month. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. this year for East Orange who have had, had some, some snaps. Under center right now is going to be Ty Sneed. Ty Sneed comes in with 104 passing yards on the year. East Orange sent two guys out wide right. He'll look right, throw right. Good little game there on a quick out pass, but there is some laundry on the field. We'll see what that's about. Probably coming back on a holding. East yeah, Florida's uh, been a physical team this year, Austin. We, we hope to see some, some tough downhill running. They've had two games this year, one in which they were very explosive in the passing game and another which they, they pounded the ball very well. Yeah, Tap, I'm looking to see them uh, throw the ball a little bit more, air it out some. Uh, they got, like you said, they got two good quarterbacks. One's leading the uh, the, the division and uh, passing right now. I think we, they're gonna air it out pretty good. All right, and week week one, uh, East Lawrence ran the ball for 437 yards. Put the ball on the ground 49 times that game. So really impressive stuff week one, and then completely flipped the script week two. Passed the ball for 223 yards in week two, only ran for 91. Yeah, number seven in the backfield, Norion King gets stuffed. Ten-yard line. It's going to be a loss of about one there. Tried to run it outside and just no room. Got to bring up third down, I believe. Bring up second, second and 21. Tough sledding here early on. Ty Snead still in at quarterback. Got two guys out far left. One, two guys join him in the backfield. Kind of a, a dime set here. There's a snap. He'll look right pass back it. left. A little high. Has some room to work with. Broke a tackle. He'll be down at about the 22 yard line. So he'll get back a little bit further than the original line of scrimmage. That'll bring up about third and eight. Pretty good little play design there. You think maybe if he could have kept the ball down on that pass, has a little more room to work. Important third down here early on. Falcons still deep in their own territory. This ball is placed at about the 21 and a half yard line. One guy out left, there's a snap. It'll be a pass. Looking downfield, doesn't have anybody. Trying to find something, directs a man downfield. There's a reception, and that'll be a first down. Got pushed out there at about the 36-yard line. That was yeah. Evan Thompson on the reception. That'll move the chains. Looking strong here early on, Austin. Yeah, Tab, like I said, I think they're going to air it out pretty good tonight. They got some really good quarterbacks, some good receivers, some good tight ends. I think it's going to be a good game. You mentioned uh, good receivers there. That'll be blown dead. That'll 
be bone dead before. We're looking. Is that maybe a timeout? Timeout called on the play. Timeout there. Loose side. That's going to be timeout ARC. We'll take a break there, and we'll see you on the other side of this timeout. You want to know why we ride? Maybe it's because everything looks better with a fresh coat. It's putting on your Sunday best and catching up with old friends. And who doesn't love going into the office? We ride because out here, we can be our true selves. Dirt and all. Maybe that's why. Hey, I'm TJ with Dublin Outdoors and Power Sports, formerly known as Myers Equipment Supply. We are a full line sales and service dealer for Can-Am Off-Road. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the other side of this timeout. Austin, before that timeout, you mentioned good receivers. Dankevious Dan Richardson for East Orange re leads the region right now in passing yards, or passing reception yards, rather. He's got 136 yards on the season. Had a really big week one against Washington Wilkes. Play there brings up second and 10. No gain on the play. We'll bring up second down and 10. Ty Sneed still in at quarterback for the Falcons. Got two guys out wide right, one left, two backs in the backfield. There comes a snap. Handoff will go right side. Broke a tackle. That's number 21, Gavin Dice. Pretty good little gain there. Gain about two or three yards there. That'll bring up about third and seven, third and six. Bring up third and six. A long third and six, long yard there. In the backfields, number seven, Norian King, number 21, Gavin Dice. Two guys out wide left. Here comes a snap. Steps back to pass. He'll dump it off. Overshoot his man there, so that'll bring up fourth down. You imagine, yep, the punt team will trot on here. Pretty impressive first drive there. Kind of got some things to work out, but definitely see some good things there in the first drive, Austin. Yeah, it's out. I mean, everything, everything didn't go quite according to plan, but they uh, they definitely had some magic going on. Just got to execute better and just really, uh, yeah, just execute better and make some stuff happen. All right, number 39, Connor Tanner. Tanner, back to punt. He's set. No waste the snap. He gets it. Good snap. Good punt. It's a really good punt. That one will go about 40 yards there. East Orange will field it at about the 34. We'll take a break and we'll be right back with you. School's back in and we all know what that means. Then go to the end. Oh! God, get Whether him up. it's football or softball or any other fall sport, Dublin Chevy GMC is here for you. Fall is in the air here in middle Georgia, but the deals are still smoking hot at Dublin Chevy GMC. Line up in that first group right now! The scouts say we can't catch, throw, or run well, but they all agree we sure do sell cars well at Dublin Chevy GMC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for ARC's first drive on offense. Don't have a roster for ARC, so we're, we're going off numbers tonight. Number 11 there at quarterback, got three guys out far left, one guy wide right. One guy in the backfield with him. He'll go in motion, snap, pass will go to him. Number 10 drops that ball. Number 18, rather. Quick pass. Just unable to keep his hands on it. Really tried to take off before he caught it. That's going to break up second down. Second and 10. Two guys in the backfield, one guy far left. Here comes a snap, handoff will go up the middle. Number eight finds a hole on the right side. Pretty good strong little run there. That'll leave him with about four to go on third down. Kind of found a hole up the middle, good blocking. Brought him down about as soon as he got through that line. He got a whistle. Not sure what that's about. That's talking. I don't believe much is going to come from that. 
ARC coach seems to be a little upset over there on the sideline. Look like maybe a, something wrong with one of ARC's receivers' helmets. That'll bring in, they'll sub, sub a receiver out. Two guys out far either side, one guy in the backfield. Snap, he'll look left, pass left. Good little slant over the middle. Oh, that ball comes out. That's a live ball. ARC will land on that. Looks like East Lawrence kind of thought that that ball was dead, but receiver took about two or three steps there before that ball came out. I don't know exactly what the East Lawrence defenders were thinking, but. Yeah, Tab, they looked a little confused on that. Um, like you said, it was a live ball, and East Lawrence just couldn't get on top of it. All right, they kind of stumbled on top of the ball, looked like. So that'll set up ARC. Ball will be set on about the 45 yards on East, East, uh, East Lawrence side of the field. ARC's got two guys in the backfield. Handoff will go up in the middle. He'll cut it back right. Gain about two or three yards there. Bring up about second and seven. Again, I'm, I'm trying to understand why maybe East Lawrence thought that ball was dead, but looked like the receiver took two, three, maybe even four steps before that ball came out. Nice, nice play there to punch the ball out, but just lack of awareness to, to fall on it. That's okay, though. ARC's got three guys wide out right. He's going to look to throw. He's scrambling. Dumps it off to number eight. Big hit by number like 52 down there. Number 53, Brandon McWilliams. Good hit there. Rolled out left. As soon as he got the ball, 53 laid the wood to him. That'll bring up third and seven, so they got the ball right back to about the line of scrimmage, and they'll do that again. Got a sub here for that. Have two guys out wide left. Good mix here early on from ARC and between the run and the pass. Here comes a snap. Pitch will go as he cuts across the field. Right side, he's got room over there. Finally gets brought down around the 29. Got hit at about the 34 and stumbled forward for four or five more there, like you mentioned. That'll move the chains. Ball will be placed at about the 29. Oh, we got a flag on the field. I did not see that. Oh, right here at about the right in about the middle of that play. It's a holding call on ARC. That'll come back. Good news for East Lawrence. So we'll replay third down there. Make it about third and 12. Think so. Here we go. Now they'll back up. So yeah, that'll bring up about third and twelve. So we'll have to ARC's gonna we'll have to do some work here to get out of this little hole. That'll push them back to their own side of the field. That ball will be spotted about the 48 yard line. Spotted on the 48 yard line. Third and 17 rather. Ten yard penalty there. So even more work to do. Got three guys split wide right, one guy left closest to us. You got number eight in motion. Throws it. Good catch by number one, but couldn't quite get back to the to the line. And a late flag there after the play. Maybe a looks like maybe a penalty on East Orange. Could be a late hit there. Referees will discuss that and we'll, we'll see what that was. Okay, so it looked to be a penalty on ARC. East Lawrence will decline it. And ARC will bring out the punt team. They'll be punting from about the 52, 51 yard line, 51 and a half maybe. Right in there. 
East Lawrence, East Lawrence return man sitting at about the 15 yard line. Be number seven, Norian King back there. ARC comes set, that play blowed in. Snap is high, gonna go over his head. He'll pick it up. He'll throw it out. The refs will call that dead. Incomplete pass. Good heads up play there from ARC to pass that out. We'll take a break and we'll get right back with you. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. tonight, East Lawrence is wearing helmet stickers in honor of an ARC player who, who lost her life in a drowning, I've been told, earlier this week. So prayers for that family, prayers for this team, the coaching staff, everybody involved, that they can, God can just lay a healing hand of, of hand of protection over them in this, these next weeks and months and years to come uh, to just kind of love on them. Yeah, Tab, it's a pretty unfortunate event. Right. We're back here now. East Lawrence on offense. Pretty good field position. They'll start from about the 47-yard line. Like, I think that's going to go on the defense. We'll see here. Wait. It was offside, so that'll move East Lawrence up five yards. We'll redo first down. But five yards closer this time. That'll push us onto ARC's side of the field. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to hang with us after the game for the premier heating and air player of the game. We'll get that right after the game is over. Down there on the field. They got Todd Sneed back in at quarterback. Snap hands hands it off to number seven, Dorian King. Second and one. Be setting at about second and one now. Two guys far right. Handoff will go up the middle. He'll get the first down. Make a man miss there. And kind of stumble down at about the 43 and a half yard line. Good little gain there. You're going to gain about six right there, Tal. Shake and bait right there in the middle of the field, yes, Austin. You hear the Falcon there in the background. Two guys out right, one guy far, far left. Comes a snap, quick pass right. He'll be bottled up at about the 34-yard line. That, pa that pass went from one Sneed to another. Ty Sneed threw it. Ty and Sneed caught it. It's a three on the play. Three-yard gain. That'll bring up second and seven. East Lawrence moving the ball pretty well here early on in this drive. Ball is at about the 34, 35-yard line, 34. Come out in that same formation. It'll be a QB keeper right side. He'll gain about three or four yards there, I believe. Hopefully they give him that last yard. It looks like they're not going to. So gain of about three. That'll bring up third and three. Very important third down here for East Lawrence. You think if you can get this one, you can get some momentum rolling. Yeah, get an early score. Right. It'll be very important. Like I mentioned, East Lawrence lost this game pretty big last year, so looking to flip the script and looking good here early on on both got sides to of the go. ball. Got Noyan King in the backfield. He's going to hand it off to him, but he's going to get brought down at about the 28, 20, 27. 
looks like maybe the 29. I don't think they're going to give that one to him. Actually, on the other side of the 30. So that'll bring up fourth and three. Uh, looks like the Falcons elect to go for it here. Why not? You on your own, or your own ARC side of the field? Right. Pretty deep. Might not get another shot like this. Right, been moving the ball well, so I agree with this call here. He's got two out right. Here comes the snap, handoff. We'll go. Lost that ball. ball. Tass Needle fall back on it, so that'll be a turnover on downs. We'll take a break and we'll get right back with you. Matt Hatchett, representative for Lawrence County, is proud to support our local high schools, our East Orange Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Lawrence Raiders. Matt Hatchett, representative for Lawrence County. Go team! Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. ARC back on offense after that turnover on downs. Got an empty backfield. He'll put a man in motion. Thought maybe looking there for a snap, but here it comes. He'll roll out right. Looks like it's going to be a QB keeper. Different QB in the game. Got some room to work on the outside. Put a move on a couple of guys out there. That's a gain of about 27 yard line, or 27 yards rather. Correction, about 18 yards. I, I added 10 there to the end of it, Austin. Yeah, that's, that's all right. We're all human. We all make mistakes. There it is. Got a good support system up here with me. I appreciate that, Austin. Yes, sir. Had to look like for a minute there he was going to score, but East Lawrence put the uh, brakes on and stopped him. Put a move on him. Oh, that's going to be timeout. Coach Ben Turner. ARC back on offense. Handoff will go left. They'll cut it back right. There was a crowd of East Lawrence defenders there still making a move. Got a that's flag. probably going to come back with the flag on the play. Yeah, Tad, we got about 340 left in the first quarter, still 0-0. Zero to zero. Pretty good ball game here early on. Two flags on the field. I assume that's going to be holding with all that moving he was doing around in the backfield. Good play there to keep it alive, but took a little too long to develop the offensive lineman got antsy. Okay. So it wasn't... Wasn't a um, a holding, but some kind of penalty on, on ARC there. That'll back him up. It's gonna back him up about ten. It's gonna be about first and maybe we were wrong on that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I believe that'll back him up ten. Fifteen. Personal foul on the play, maybe there. So that'll that'll make it second and about. Yeah, about second and 25. A long second down. That'll be first and 25. So we'll redo downs there from 15 yards further back. Here comes a snap. He'll set. Let's go, throw it. You got a man downfield. Overshoots him. Yeah, Tab, he was he was looking to throw that one deep. He was overshot him by, by a little bit. That was uh, number 13, I think, to receive it. That's who it looks like from up here. ARC coming out of their snaps and passing the ball super quickly when that's what they choose to do. So looking to play with some tempo here. I'm sure Coach Turner's all over that. Two guys out wide right, one split real far left over here. They'll take a step or two back in. Offensive line will come set. Two guys in the backfield. Here comes a snap. Play action. Look at the little screen pass, and he's going to miss it again. I believe that's the second ball he's dropped tonight. Yeah, Ted, that's going to come off right off the hands of number seven. The RC just can't seem to get a, a grip on the ball tonight, Tap. Right. We're going third and 25. Long way to go here on third down. He's going to substitute some guys out. Two guys split wide either way. Almost certainly looking for a passing play here. Got a man in the backfield. Here comes a snap. Got a man across the middle. He'll signal him this way. Pass is caught. 
but it isn't going to mean anything on third and 25. That ball's caught at about the 48 yard line, bottled up right there. That'll yeah, bring up a long fourth down, and ARC will punt it. Yeah, Tad, that was number four that caught that ball. He uh, could, just could not quite get back to the line. Right. Didn't really have much room there. I mean, about six yards short of the line, or the line of scrimmage, rather. Yeah, just defenders everywhere. Not much you can do in that situation. Fourth and 16, no punt from the 48. Sneed back at about the 15 yard line, set to receive. Here comes snap. Low snap this time. Low rugby style punt. Ace Arms will field it at about the 17. He'll go right, break a few tackles. He's got room on this side of the field. He'll break another. Cut it in and back out. There's a flag again. A lot of laundry here early on. We'll see who that's going to go against. Good little return there. It was Therese Sneed there on the return. Got back to about the 45. Lee that may be coming back. We'll take a short break and we'll come right back to you. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Domana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands, and with the purchase of a new unit, Amana offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff can help you today at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana. Last and last and last. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Austin, you want to tell them what that flag was about there? Yeah, we had a block in the back on the east side. That's going to back him up about 10 yards. Here comes a snap. It's a handoff to number seven, Norian King. Let's see. It's going to be brought down about the 31. Gain of about five there. Good little run. Faked kind of as if he was going to drop out to the left side for maybe a dump off pass. Turned back in and took that ball for a pretty good game. That'll bring up second and five. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, hang with us after the game for the premier heating and air player of the game. Again, that's the premier heating and air player of the game. We'll bring that right to you right after the game. Handoff will go in the middle. Kind of met by two or three guys there of the middle. That'll bring up about It'll be third and short. Three on the play. It'll bring up third down two. About third and two, third and three. He got stuffed up in the middle there, Tap. Thought he was going to get a little bit more wiggle room, but ARC just blocked the whole hole that he had. Right. Good hole created by the line, but secondary kind of just collapsed on it. No comeback set to the line. Got a man far out left. Norian King in the backfield. He's gonna hand it off to Norian King. Oh wait, no, no he's not. He's gonna keep this. This is a quarterback keeper. Got me too, Austin. He got me too. Owen Bailey, State Farm, first down. He gets the first down there. A much needed first down. They gonna move the chains. It's gonna be about at the 39 to start off. I've been fooled on some, some play actions and some fake handoffs this year, but that, I mean, my neck was on the complete, I'm looking the complete opposite side of the field that time, Austin. Yeah, that one got me, Ty. It got, was rough. Got about 32 seconds and counting here left in the first quarter. East Arms with a fresh set of downs. They'll drop back. He looks left. He's got a man deep. Good. Ah, just overshot him. Had a chance for a big play there. Overshot him by about a step or two. Yeah, Tad, that was a beautifully thrown ball, though. Just overshot him just a little bit. It was a pretty ball. Tight spiral coming out of his hands. That'll, that'll bring up second and ten. The ball's on the 39-yard line. Good decision to go with the pass right there. You know, you got the first and ten. You're on the 40. I mean, why not take a shot? Right. That'll come set. Two guys right. Well, I say one guy far right, one kind of in the slot there. Same deal on the other side, kind of a guy in the slot position there. In the Got left. a new guy in the backfield, Gavin Dice, number 21. It's a low, low snap. snap. Quarterback keeper again. He won't even get.
get back to the line of scrimmage there. It's going to be a loss of about a yard. You see Gavin Dice there playing with a cast on his left hand. Tough man to play through a game like that. Oh, yeah, tough man indeed. Probably just give, their, uh, probably give uh, Norian King some time to rest. He's been running a lot tonight. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. We'll take a break and be right back. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here. We'll flip sides of the field. Be about third and 11 here for East Lawrence. Two guys out wide left, two far right. They'll step back. Look for a man over the middle. And pass will be overthrown, bottled, and intercepted. By, oh, ref will call that incomplete. I thought he had it. It must have hit the ground there when he turned away from us. Either way, pass overthrown. He was open there in the middle of the field. Pretty good little pass, but just overshot him a little bit. That's kind of been the problem thus far tonight in the pass game. But the Falcons will get ready to punt the ball. Yeah, Tad, that was number 12 looking to pick it off. Thought he had it coming down. I guess uh, just could not have control of the ball. And the ref is going to call that incomplete. Intended receiver there, Therese Sneed. Uh, again, kind of just overshot him. Got Connor Tanner. Back to punt again. Pretty good little punt early on in the game. Kicked it about 35, 40 yards. Snap a little high. Good punt. High punt. Number 18. Back there to back receive the, wrong the kick. They'll down it about the 29 and a half yard. Call that the 30. ARC takes the ball on offense. And off goes left side. He finds a hole in the middle. He's got some room to work with. will say that's down. Some fl a flag on the play. Came out early. About as a running back. Across the line of scrimmage. So I'm assuming that ball's coming back for Holden. That was number four on the carry. Not sure what his name is, but he had a quite a bit of room to run there, Tap. Big hole in the middle. You think maybe that's... Okay. So that's going to be a sideline warning on East Lawrence. So they'll keep all the yards they got on that play. Gonna be spotting about the 39 mark. We'll take it first and 10 from there. Two guys out wide, far right. Two guys join number 11 back there in the backfield. Here comes the snap. Hand off left side up the middle again. Good little strong run for about three yards. ARC keeping on the ground here on this drive. Looking, looking pretty good. He's going to have to work on movement up front there. ARC going to go tempo here. He's going to hand it off to number eight. He's going to break a couple tackle, tackles, but get, get a, about a gain of two right there. Maybe three. Yeah, two or three there, maybe. That'll bring up third down. No, no. Maybe that's second down. We'll see. Another I believe that's going to bring up third down. Third yeah, down and five. Yeah, Tad, that's going to bring up third down. That's a long, a long yard there, so might as well be third and six. Clock away. Here comes the snap. Play action. Guy over the middle, wide open, and he's going to get into the end zone. Good little play design there from ARC. Finds a guy again, wide open across the middle. Pass a little high. 26 able to come down with it and didn't have anybody to beat on his way to the end zone. So the first score of the game comes from ARC. They'll set up here for the extra point. Number 60, place kicker for ARC. Number 
snap. Kick is up. And good. So that'll make it 7 0. ARC here with 10 28 left in the second quarter. We'll take a break and we'll get right back with you. Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wind Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wind Nelson, our goal is long term success of your business. We achieved that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road or give us a call at 478-272-3585 That's Dublin Wind Nelson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. ARC setting the kick off here to East Lawrence. East Lawrence got two guys back there to receive. I can't get numbers on those guys yet. Got number four and number nine. Both of them go for the reception. Let's see that ball will come back to about the 21. I believe that was John Downing there. On, it was John Downing on the return. Like a little miscommunication there. Both guys tried to receive it. East Lawrence has looked pretty good here on offense, able to move the ball a little bit and then just kind of stall out as they get later on in the drive. Hope to see East Lawrence move the ball a little better this time. Zalen Boston come in at quarterback now. New look for East Lawrence. Got three guys wide left. Quick pass left. Good blocking on the outside. Have some room to work with. That'll be a gain of about 13 yards. So pretty good first play there for Zay Boston. Zay Boston leads the region in passing yards thus far this year, two games in. He's been impressive through the air. East Orange will come set with three guys wide right. Yeah, Tad, that was number one on the receiving end of that. Not sure what his name is. It's going to be a handoff to number seven. Norian King there on the run. Good, strong run. Nine, and about nine. That'll be just short of the first down. That'll bring up second and one. Terrell Sneed was the one on that reception there on the first play. Zay comes in. East Orange kind of moving with tempo now. They'll come out in that same formation. Here comes the snap. He'll step back. Looking left. Looks right. Got a man wide open. That's number 11, Dinkavius Richardson. He broke a tackle. Put a move on another man. And he'll be down at about the three-yard line. That man calls for a piggly wiggly replay. Richardson cuts across the field. Wide open. Makes a few guys miss. And eventually brought down at about the three-yard line. Beautiful play there. Had some good blocking there by his teammates. Tom. Oh, yeah. The first explosive play we've seen from East Lawrence. That got these fans riled up over here, Austin. Yes, sir. It's good to see a good uh, stadium just loud. That's what you need at a football game, Tap. Right. Like I mentioned earlier, Richardson leads the region and most certainly leads the region now in reception yards. They got, three, go. they got three guys wide right. Hand off of the middle. Make one man miss, but it'll be brought down shortly after. That ball's going to get right back to about, well, not even. I believe he's going to lose about half a yard there. That'll bring up second and goal. See Evan Thompson running off the field there. Evan leads uh, single A in interceptions this year with two. He got them both in the first game. East Orange will come set. Three receivers wide left. Here comes the snap. That'll be blown dead before. That's going to be, I believe, timeout. ARC. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. Now's the time to get a great deal on the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience. 
professional grade mowers, durable sidekick utility vehicles, and versatile compact tractors. It's the equipment you need to take care of your land. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% 0 APR for up to 60 months, plus save up to $800. Your Kubota dealer is Mid-State Tractor and Equipment, 1325 North Jefferson, Dublin. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. East Lawrence threatening here. Second and goal from about the four-yard line. Come set, handoff. QB keeper. He's going to push his way into the end zone. Zay Boston fakes the handoff left side, keeps it up the middle, and gets his way into the end zone. That'll make it 6-7 here, pending this extra point. Yeah, Tap, what a way to respond to that touchdown by ARC. The Falcons getting one of their own. Absolutely. Tanner set the kick. Here comes the snap. Kick is up. And good. Time ball game. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break and we'll be right back with you. Hello fans, Ben Knight for Farmer State Bank. Friday night football in Farmer State Bank. As easy as FSB. Dedication, hustle, trust, commitment, and teamwork. Giving our all every day, just as our local football teams do every Friday night. Join us at Farmer State Bank and support your local team. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. An explosive play there. Catch by Richardson led to the rushing touchdown from Zay Boston for the Falcons. We have a tie game with 7.58 left to go. Tanner set the boot this ball off after the touchdown. The fans are into it now, Austin. Here we go. Kick is off. It'll be onside kick. I can tell you what happened down there. Yeah, I can't it tell you that at the time. Both sides sig signaling their ball. ARC looks a little more confident. Let's see which way that ball goes. It'll be ARC ball. We've got a man He's hobbling up the field over there. It looks like number 25. Can't really tell. He made it off there. ARC take the ball at about a 45-yard line. First down. by himself in the backfield motion. That's a quarterback change. Other quarterback still on the field there. Middle receiver, quarterback keeper, left side, whole lot of room there on that side of the field. He gets a block. He'll be hit down pretty hard there at about the 44 yard line. That'll be a first down by about a yard. Good little run. Both times ARC's brought him into the game. It's been designed QB runs. He's still down there on the far side of the field. We'll keep an eye on that. East Arms will try off the field. I believe he got up on he did. He got up on his own standing there. So that's that's good news. That's what you like to see right there, Tap. Right. Just a little shaking up. He did get hit pretty hard there. Football is a tough sport. You gotta be able to take it sometimes though. They are still trot back out. They're playing on the left hash. You got two guys fall closest to you on your screen. Here comes a snap. Hand off up the middle. Right side, he's got some room. Uh, another flag there. Two flags two on the flags. field. One far down the field. Only two guys over there. And then another here right in the play. That ball's right at the first down marker. I believe that would be like second in inches. But we'll see what, what comes of this flag. Been a lot of laundry here early on for both teams. That flag is going to be thrown about the 43 yard line. Right there at the line of scrimmage, so possibly a hold. And here comes the call. It will be holding on ARC, so that'll come back. So here we 
There we go. We'll back it up. A redo first down there. It'll be first and 20 this time. Yeah, give these signs a little room to breathe. Yeah, first and 20. East Lauren is playing pretty good defense so far throughout this game. Both teams are, yeah. And both teams, you know, like I mentioned earlier, moving the ball a little bit and then stalling out. Here comes a snap. Quarterback looking to pass. He's going to run up the middle. He's going to make a guy miss, and he's going to run out of bounds at about the 51 or 49. Number two, Ty Sneed. Pushed him out there. And bring up second long. Second about 16 yards there. Yeah, Tap, this crowd looking a lot more active than when we began. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot more fans here. Everybody enjoying themselves. Got into it since that big play. Pass downfield. He's got a man. Number 14, to Michael Carswell in coverage there. Ball almost tipped into the ARC's hands. Yeah, that would have been an unfortunate event for uh, the Falcons. Fortunately enough, didn't happen, so here we are still in good position. It'll be third and long, third and about 16 yards to go. Good play by number 14 to stay on his man and fight all the way through. Oh, yeah. Might have just saved him a touchdown right Ball there. Ball kind of underthrown a little bit. He was hit as he threw. Good pressure from the Falcons. That's a comeback. A little screen pass. East Arms all over that. Evan Thompson broke that one up. That'll be fourth down. Good defense by the Falcons. Gave up a big run early on in that drive. Was able to rebound after the penalty. See, kind of shooting themselves in the foot. They'll come out to punt. That'll be number 60. And number 60, Emerson Murray on the kick for ARC Bucket Theaters. That's Jefferson Murray back there. That's the first name we got for you for ARC tonight. A little late sub here. They're taking a minute to get set. Standing back at about the 15 yard line for the Falcons. And Therese Sneed back to receive. Therese Sneed back there. Short punt. It'll bounce and roll out at about the 19 yard line. So we'll take a break and we'll join you back. The Falcons on offense. Get $1,000 cash back and a free programmable Wi Fi thermostat with the purchase of any new AC system from Premier Heating and Air. Payments starting as low as $89 per month. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar, depositing that spare change into a Moolah account, where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. again. He'll be slowing down there pretty hard at the end of the play. The ball came out, rolled out of bounds. Richardson still down. I did not like the way that that looked. Let's see, they're still... He sat up there for a minute and he's going to lay back down. Snap the ball too quickly for me to say uh, on that last play, but Zay Boston back in at quarterback. Had a really productive drive there. We got a man in the backfield with him. He's going to hand it off, but he's going to get swallowed up at about the 
26-yard, no, excuse me, 24-yard line. You're going to lose about six on that. I believe I was wrong. I think that was Therese Sneed who went down on the injury a while ago. I apologize for that. But he was able to get up and walk off the field on his own, so good news there. Richardson and Cars were out far left here, closest to your screen. Second and 14. Lost him about four there on first. Snap pass left to Richardson. He'll make a man. Kind of shrugged off a defender there and drug down a few yards back from that. So two unproductive plays from the Falcons to start this drive. Somewhere in third and long. Yeah, a lot of work here to do to get that back. It's going to be about third and. 24. Third and 25. Third and 25. Yeah, that ARC defense is just always there. The quick. Swarm very quick. Yeah, a lot of men to the ball. Two guys far right. Here comes the snap. They'll step back. Look left. Back right. He's got a man across the middle. That's a reception. He's still going. Still on his feet. He'll break a few tackles and eventually be brought down at about the 42 yard line. Number nine, Kyan Sneed there on the reception. Big play. Get a replay on that. Brought to you by Piggly Wiggly. Man, cuts across the middle of the field. Sneed there. Zay Boston able to find him. And then a lot of yards after the reception there. Eventually brought down at the 42-yard line. Yeah, Chad, what a great offensive scheme there by the offensive coordinator to right. cross the routes. Here comes the snap. Hand off left side. He'll gain about seven there. That's Norian King there. Been pretty good in the running game here early on for East. We got about 430 left here in the first half. 428 to be exact. That's going to bring up second and two. Falcons moving the ball pretty well. Here comes a snap. Another handoff left side to King. He, he's got plenty of room for East Arms to just keep chipping six, seven, eight yards there on that left side. And as long as they get it to you, I mean, keep taking it. So another first down there for the Falcons. Yeah, Chad, it's nice to see the Falcons having some good momentum there. Oh, yeah. That's a spot at about 27-yard line. First and 10. Let's see what the Falcons do. They're gonna Play throw action. It. Throw across the middle to Richardson. He breaks a tackle, shakes another, and he'll be dragged down at about the uh, six-yard line. Richardson making his presence felt here early on. His connection with Zay Boston has been beautiful ever since Zay entered the game. Again, like I said, Richardson leads the region in reception yards coming into this game, and Zay leads the region in passing yards. So beautiful connection here for the Falcons. That handoff will go left to Gavin Dice. Big hit there at about the five, and he'll stumble forward there for about a yard. Gavin Dice with the big run and the hit six, taking it down to about the five-yard line. There's a flag there on the field. Jake spotted that one for me. We'll see what that's about. You think that may be coming back. It is going to be holding on the Falcons, so bad, obviously, yeah, that you get the penalty, but uh, East Orleans has looked good through the air here on this drive. So this penalty backs them up and kind of gives them more room to work in the passing game. So I guess that's a positive you can take from that penalty. That ball's going to come back to about the 18-yard line, and we'll play second down from there. Yeah, Tab, Zay Boston's balls are looking quite good tonight. Absolutely. Here comes the snap. 
throw across the middle. I believe that's Evan Thompson there across the middle. He received that ball at about down to bring it to the way over 13 yard line. Evan Thompson with the reception. Richardson here far left. Gavin Dice in the backfield with Zay Walton. He'll look left. He'll line it up for Richardson. What a catch, I believe that's going to be. Ah, ref calls it out of bounds. I thought maybe he got a foot down. Falcons fans not happy about that. How I could think, you be happy about that, Sal? I think I agree with the fans on that one, Austin. I think that's a touchdown. So they meet together and they call it incomplete. I guess maybe his feet were out of bounds. Beautiful fade over the top there by Zay Boston. Put it in about the perfect spot. Again, a while ago you mentioned his accuracy. Beautiful pass there. Left side and Richardson went up and got it. You like Richardson in any one-on-one -on -one situation. Big, tall, athletic, green right. dude. The Michael Cars will out far right. Here comes a snap. Pitch will go left. Fumble. ARC falls on it, I think. They call that an incomplete pass. Okay. I think ARC fell on it, so that's going to be good news for the Falcons. That'll bring up fourth down. Hey, Falcons have a decision to make. They're going to bring out the kicking team. Connor Tanner set up here for a field goal to give the Falcons the lead with 241 left. Richardson. So he's he's catching the passes tonight and he's he's holding the kicks on the, on the extra points and field goals. Utility man. Here comes. Oh, there it is. Oh, maybe a kick. The kick was good, but caught dead before well, that flag that flag was a false start. Okay, so they'll back that one up about 10 yards and we'll try that again. Good, good kick there by Connor Tanner. Just got him a practice rep in. That's what we'll call it, Austin. Yeah, we, we, we like these practice reps. Oh, yeah. Good or bad. We'll look back up and try that one again. Again, 241 left here in the second quarter. And try number two from Connor Tanner. He's going to be backed up about the 22 here, making about a 32-yard field goal. Here comes the snap. Kick is up, and good. Good kick, Connor Daniel. That'll make it 10-7 Falcon. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Trying to beat the heat? Come check out our cool deals at Roach Farm and Garden. For your garden and around the house, Roach Farm and Garden has planters, soils, plants, vegetable, and grass seed. Don't forget, it's time to fertilize your yard and pond. Let Roach Farm and Garden help. Got something to feed? ADM, Godfrey, FRM, and Cargill. Roach Farm and Garden has a huge supply of pet and livestock feed. Getting bugged in your own backyard? Flies, fleas, mosquitoes? Roach Farm and Garden has one gallon to 110 gallon sprayers. Too hot and you want to cool off? Roach Farm and Garden has barrel and pedestal fans, not to mention stock tanks up to 1,000 gallons. While you're shopping, check out our wind chimes, benches, gliders, and chairs. We even got fryers, grills, and griddles, and always carry a full line of Carhartt and Wrangler wear. Before you check out, grab some of our seasonings and sauces, local honey, jams, jellies, and pickles. Looking for concrete benches, statues, and fountains? Roach Farm and Garden has a huge supply and more arriving every day. Roach Manufacturing, opened in 1929 as a cotton gin, a third generation family business, started by William Patrick Roach and Miss Louise Beecham Roach, which now has become Roach Farm and Garden. Since 1929, from Roach Manufacturing to Roach Farm and Garden, third generation family business here in Dublin and Wrightsville. Come see us. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Connor Tanner set. Here comes the kick. Good long kick to the left side of the field. That'll sail over to ARC receiver's head. And that ball will roll out at about the 17-yard line. And ARC 
see what started there. Falcons up 10-7 with 2.39 left. Good ball game here, Austin. Yeah, Ty, I like, I like what I'm seeing from both teams. Uh, the Falcons starting to really air it out some. Went, did what I want to see all night, Ty. They're looking really good. The ARC's defense, they, they've been on they've been on them. Right. When we talked to Coach Turner earlier in the week, he mentioned he wanted to see his players refocus and regroup after the loss last week, and I, I think that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Yes, sir. Kyan Sneed. It's going to be a handoff up the middle. It's, it's going to get pushed to about the 27 or 28 going to bring up about ARC second and four. They got two guys wide right. He's going to hand it off again, go up the middle. He's going to gain about two on that play. I think he gained maybe maybe only one Jacob there. Going for that, he, he's still two yards shy of the the line to gain, so that'll bring up about third and two. I'm out, two guys wide left. They're gonna run tempo here, Tap. Maybe looking to catch East Arms jumping. East Arms stacked the box, got about nine or, got, yeah, nine guys there in the box. Here comes the snap, hand off up the middle. He's got a hole and he'll get the first down and a little bit more. He took that one about a yard and a half pass the line again, so that'll give ARC a fresh set of downs. Logan Clements there on the tackle. And ARC goes to timeout. ARC takes a timeout, and we'll take it with them. We'll be right back. I don't just value my customers. I value the community, and, and we actually take our customer service here to the next level, and it's because I am nostalgic of this town, and, and we got a little saying, this is not just a storage facility. It's a personalized storage experience, so we encourage everybody to come on down and take a tour and uh, just see exactly what we're talking about. We have a 50,000-square-foot facility, so we can accommodate any size move, and we're in the Rosa Shopping Center at 102 Hillcrest Parkway, and we are an indoor climate-controlled storage facility. We have five convenient entry points that include a lean-to canopy that you can get out of the weather. If it's raining, no worries, we got you covered. And on the back side of this facility, we have a loading dock with a loading dock bay where any box truck or 18-wheeler can pull up to for the bigger moves. We've got storage sizes all the way down from 9x6s all the way up to 10x30s. So we can accommodate any size move from clearing out a closet all the way up to a, a big house or office space that you need to move in. So we got you covered. We've got 24-7 security protection and fire alarm protection. We have cameras in and outside of this building, so you're definitely taken care of. We've got rodent control and pest control cover too. We're not going to just take care of belongings, we're going to take care of you too. Looking for a career that's always in demand? How about one that provides you with practical and useful skills? A career that allows you to earn hands-on experience and an education with little to no debt? Oconee Fall Line Technical College prepares students with the right set of skills to succeed in fast-growing careers in healthcare, manufacturing, business, and technology fields. If you're ready to gain the experience you need to start your career locally, OFTC is where it all begins. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Careers begin here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're nearing halftime here. We got about a minute 32 left here in the second quarter. I want to remind you to stick with us after the game for the Premier Heating and Air Player of the Game. Again, that's the Premier Heating and Air Player of the Game. This wouldn't be possible without Premier Heating and Air. So we thank them very much. Uh, play kind of broke down there. East Orange got some pressure and kind of just threw out of a sack there. That'll bring up second and ten after the incomplete pass. Yeah, Tab, didn't really have anybody to throw to there. Just kind of got swarmed by Falcons defenders and just was looking to dump off the ball somewhere. Yeah, kind of hard to single out who, who got in there because it looked about like everybody. Here comes a snap. Step back. That ball will go out to the right side. He'll shake a man. Still going. 
Sneed finishes off the tackle there, but not before an ARC first down. Number one, Ben Rock with the kick, and number one, Perez Sneed on the tackle. will come set. They got three guys wide left. Got a man in the backfield. He's going to look to throw. Roll out left. Doesn't really have anybody. Throws it up. Was that ball caught? They'll say incomplete. It was out of bounds. Good catch there. Right there at the sticks. But they'll call it incomplete. Ty Sneed there on the coverage. Good coverage to force him out of bounds there. That'll bring up second down and 10 for ARC. We got a minute three left, so ARC is going to kind of have to move with some tempo if they want to get a score before half. Just still, probably really looking for field goal range here, you'd think. ARC still has one timeout, I think, they could use. Here comes a snap. Roll out left, pressure. That ball's picked off. To Red Sneed there on the interception. He rolled out. That's worth a Piggly Wiggly replay. Again, QB for ARC kind of rolled out right, was looking for a man downfield, didn't really have anything. Shot the ball down. ARC with a man down. Gonna take a knee for a minute. We'll take a break right there, we'll be right back. My name is Jeremy Blackstock. I'm the head of school at Trinity Christian School. For over 50 years, our school has faithfully served the Dublin and Lawrence County community. If you are interested in learning more about Trinity Christian, visit our website or also stop by campus. We'd love to show you around. We'd love for your family to be a part of what we're doing here at Trinity Christian School as we endeavor to teach the truth every day. The Lord has blessed us and we have experienced growth this year in our enrollment, but there are still plenty of spots available in K through 12th grade. So if you're interested in touring the school or interested in learning more about our application process, visit our website, tcsweb.org, or call us here at the school and speak with Dawn Lane, our admissions director. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. East Arms with a chance to put some points on the board here right before half. We got 52 seconds left. Zay Boston, step back. He'll look right. Swallowed up. Good pressure there from ARC. He'll be brought back in about five yards behind the line scrimmage. Kind of looked like he was about to take off. Maybe saw something he liked and then was just bottled up. These Arms will take a timeout. Falcon still an offense here. Coming off that sack, it's going to be about second and 15. Zay Boston in the backfield with Norian King. Two guys wide right, one left. That's Richardson left. That's the man to look for. He'll dump that pass off and King not even looking for it. A little miscommunication there. And bring about third and 15. Last time the Falcons had a, a long third down situa situation, they, they capitalized. We're able to get that big play across the middle to Richardson. We'll, we'll look to see that again. Both Thompson and Richardson just ran off the field here. Closest to you here on your screen is Jermichael Carswell. Then you got my mistake, Richardson came back on the field. So you got Richardson and Kyan Sneed there to the far right side, along with Therese Sneed. Here comes the snap. Again, pressure by ARC, and he won't be able to make it out. That was number five there on the sack. That'll bring up fourth down and real, real long. Fourth down and about, I mean, I don't even know, maybe 40 yards. Clock's still running. Clock, yeah, clock's still running. Got about 17 seconds. Uh, I don't believe ARC. ARC does not have another timeout, so that ball's, or that clock is going to tick all the way down, and that'll bring us into halftime. So, really good first half here for just a football fan. Also good for, for East Lawrence Falcons fans. The Falcons go into halftime up 10 to 7. We'll see you on the other side of the half. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. 
In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rule, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. I've been liking what I've been seeing from both teams. Oh, both yeah. have been executing pretty well. You know, Absolutely. defense has been playing well. Everything's looking good. Right. There we go. Connor Tanner set. Man, I'm excited to be out here. It's been a fun atmosphere. Had a fun halftime. Been a fun game, honestly. Oh, yeah. Here we go. They'll approach the ball, and we are off. You know, see, got two guys in the backfield. At about the 10 yard line. He'll take that. Looking for anything there. It's kind of a hole on the right side, and he'll be drugged down at about a 36-yard line. So ARC will start their drive there. We had some really good defensive showing from East Lawrence in the first half. We look to see a little bit more of that here, uh, here in the second half. They'll start start on defense. ARC will come out. The ball spotted at about the 36-yard line. It'll be first and 10 from there. Closest to us, I'm here on the left side. Two guys in the backfield with the quarterback. There comes a snap. Handoff will go to the inside. That's been their guy all night. He'll gain about four there. Uh, I want to note, we haven't seen the uh, the other quarterback, I believe number 18, since he went down with that injury earlier. So maybe he's kind of still battling that or possibly they just like what they see from this guy, but either way. Here's a snap. Hand off up the middle again. He'll go right this time. He's got a first down. Good, tough run. Taken down there on the back side by... Just yet. Let's see who that is. We'll get you an update on that when we come back from break. Hello, this is Andy Cullens at Cullens Supply. You can mow with an attitude. It's our legacy, the driving force behind every mower. It's a promise to every bad boy mower owner, and we offer powerful mowing performance across our entire mower lineup. And we do it all for mowing pros and demanding homeowners just like you. It takes brains and brawn to build a mower as regularly simple to operate and easy to maintain and provide the best value as a bad boy mower. Overbuilt and over horsepowered since the very beginning, our mowers represent the best in delivering classic American muscle. We continue to improve the process of building and innovating our mowers so that every single one is delivered to you, ready to mow with an attitude. Visit us at Cullen Supply and Engine Service at 910 East Jackson Street in Dublin or 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Remember, after immediately following the game, we got the Premier Heating and Air Player of the Game. Again, that's a Player of the Game brought to you by Premier Heating and Air. Uh, the injured player there was number 14, Jermichael Carswell. He was able to walk off on his own. So. He seems to be fine. I believe he might be down there on the field right now. ARC going to hand it off. Going to go wide to left. Going to get brought down at about the, about the line of scrimmage. Tackle there by number two, Ty Sneed. Good pursuit there from the Falcons. Play this down from the far left hash. They'll 
send one guy out wide. Let's send Therese, Therese Sneed out there to cover him. Handoff will go right. Made a guy miss there, Tap. I think he got, I think he got a guy about a gain of one or two there. Marquez Harris was all over that to start the play and just couldn't get him wrapped up and impressive to see that guy kind of make something of that play. He was bottled up in the backfield. Game two. Do a little work here on third down, Austin. Yes, sir. They got to. I think they're going to air it out some right here. They got two guys wide left. Comes a snap. He'll roll left. He's got a guy and overshoots him. That was number nine, Kyan Sneed, there on the coverage. Kind of trailing him there. Pass intended for number one. Just couldn't quite get his hands on it. Like you said, Tabby threw it just a little bit over him. That'd be fourth and eight. Looks like the offense is going to stay on the field. I mean, that's an interesting decision there, Tab. What do you make of it? Uh, I mean, like you said, interesting is about the best way to describe it. I mean, they're down by three. Ten minutes left here in the third quarter. About midfield, so you trust your defense. Yeah, that, we'll see what comes of it. Two guys out wide left. Maybe trying to draw east off sides. I think you're exactly right, Tab. I think that's what they were trying to do. Well, set back up here as if to go. Uh, timeout. So maybe just coming here to try and draw them off sides. We'll, uh, that'll, that'll bring up fourth and eight there. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. We're back. Therese Sneed back to receive the punt, so they did decide to punt. Tried to set up a better opportunity there for themselves on the floor, but they will punt it after that's unsuccessful. Therese sitting at about the 16-yard line. High snap. Kick is off. It'll bounce and roll past Therese. He'll field it at about the two. Nothing really doing. Shake and bake a little bit there. Made a few guys miss, but ultimately bottled up at about the 14-yard line. So we'll see the first look for the Falcons uh, on offense coming out of half. It looks like uh, Zay Boston will run back out there at quarterback, so they'll stick with him. Kind of that's when Esau started getting going was when Zay came out there and, and took charge of the offense. He's going to be in the backfield back there with Norian King and Gavin Dice. Those have been the two who have primarily ran the ball for the Falcons tonight. They got two guys wide left. They boss the under the center. Let's see what he's going to make up the tap. Oh, he's got to keep an eye on Richardson out there to the far side. He's kind of in the slot there. They'll hand it off to King. He has a hole. Lower his shoulder at about the 13, and he'll fall forward to about the 16-yard line. Gain of about four or five there. I bring up second and about six. He gained a lot. Well, he gained seven. My mistake. So a better run than what I saw from here. But good news for the Falcons. That'll bring up second and three. Same two guys out wide. Yeah, King has been quite a productive runner for them tonight. Absolutely. He gets the ball again. He'll fumble the snap there. I think King fell on it. As you say that, you jinxed him, man. Yeah. Richardson way down the field. He was, he was uh, committed to his walking assignment, I'll tell you that. Third and manageable here for uh, here for the Falcons. It'll be about third and six. So they lost three. There. The receivers in the game are Kyan Sneed, uh, then Cavius Richardson, and Jamichael Carswell. 
Carswell was the one closest to you here on the screen. We've got a man like Boston under the center throwing some great balls tonight. I mean, you shouldn't worry too much about it. You got to throw across the middle to Jamichael, and that's going to be incomplete. Good defense there. Ball kind of thrown behind him, and uh, looked like he made a play on it and then got hit, and the ball kind of knocked out. Uh, Carswell kind of hobbling off the field there. Uh, I believe he's going to be okay. Uh, East Orange will set up the punt. Connor's definitely got some reps in tonight. Punting the ball back there. ARC's return man sits at about the 45-yard line. Low snap. Good kick, high kick, kind of short. Takes a bad bounce for East Lawrence. And it'll be down at about the 34-yard line. So ARC will start with good field position when we come back. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if Auto Owners make sense for you. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. ARC second drive of the second half. There's a snap. And off of the middle, he'll cut it out to the right side. He has a hole. He's still got room. Big hit there about the 18 yard line, but not before. A gain of about 17, 18 yards. Got a Falcons player would hold his helmet. Shaking up. Yeah, that's Ty Sneed over there. Field. I was about to say, Tate, it looks like he's okay. It's number two. I'm not sure what that was. Dublin kind of late to set up. There's a flag. Uh, it looks like it's going to be against East. It was. The offsides against East. That'll give ARC an even better starting spot. Oh, come set. They're on the right hatch. One guy far left out here on an island. There's a snap. Hand off on the middle. Drop his shoulders and plunge for about two yards. That brings him about second and three. Yeah, Tat, with a good field positioning, they ain't really got to air it out too much. They can just keep running the ball, run that clock down, and get a quick touchdown real quick. Got two guys wide left. He's going to hand it off. Had a hole, but he looked like he got tripped up. Had he not tripped up there, he probably walks into the end zone untouched. That'll be first down. ARC moving the ball well here. We're going to go tempo here, Tap. There comes the snap. They'll hand it off again. Good tackle. Swallowed up about as soon as he got the ball. Tried to cut right. I believe that was Marquez Harris there on the tackle. Going to be about second and goal. From, a, from the nine-yard line. Snap. Play action, rolling left. He'll throw it, and he's got a guy open in the end zone. That'll be touchdown ARC. Play action kind of fooled. East Orange kind of sold out for the run there up the middle, and they paid for it. So it'll be 13-10 ARC pending this extra point here. Yeah, that bad that bad bounce by the uh, by the point team it just it really set, it didn't set them up too well. Kind of kind of set them up for failure almost. Good thing the offense looked good on the last drive. Looked very good. So 
Yeah, offense looking great, especially with Boston under center. Number six, he's on for the PA team. Murray. They'll set up for the extra points. Kick. The hole kind of got there late, but a good kick, good strong kick. That'll make it good. ARC is up 14-10 with 6.46 left in the third quarter. We'll be right back. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full-service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. John Downing and Kyan Sneed back deep. ARC sets up to kick it off. They're set. Here we go. Ella first them off, and it's off. Good low kick flag. That's probably going to be a false start. Can't wait for the back of the end zone. Pretty good kick. Too big of a problem, Tad. The way that he kicked that last ball, yeah, he's, he's a pretty good. strong kicker. Kicking pretty good. We hope something good comes, comes from this for Asians. Here we go. 6:46 left here in the third corner. Been a pretty good game, Austin. Yeah, it's been a great game, Tad. Loving, loving what East Lawrence is doing on offense right now. They're looking really sharp. There's the kick. the 20. Finds a hole up the middle. He's still got some room. He'll be drawn down at the 40-yard line. John Downing on the return there. Really good return, especially after the bobble there. So East Lawrence will start with good field position. We'll take a break and we'll get right back with you. Hi, I'm Brandy and I would like to invite you to experience our newly renovated mammography suite at the Fairview Park Hospital Breast Center. Our Breast Center has its own dedicated entrance with a relaxing boutique-like waiting area. You can make your appointment online anytime at fairviewparkhospital.com or by calling 478-274-3919. Most appointments take 30 minutes or less and we will have your results back to your doctor within 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Falcons back on offense. Pretty much the same look as far as personnel we've seen all night. This is an important drive for the Falcons. Down by four. Great field position. Comes a snap. QB keeper. He'll be wrapped up. Way behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three yards. Kind of the opposite of what we've seen all night as far as run game goes. Bring up second and 13 or second and 12. Still got your same receivers out there. Sneed, Richardson, and Carson. Here comes the snap. He will give it off this time. Breaks a tackle. Still rolling. Good physical run, still on his feet. And that might be a first down. If not, it will be. That'll move the chain. Good physical run by King. Again, I want to remind you about the premier heating and air player of the game after this. King, definitely one of the contenders for that. He's been really strong and physical for the Irish all night. For the Falcons, rather. Here comes a snap. Quick pass left. Made a man miss there. Still on his feet. That'll be another first down. Ted, 
ran over someone on the left side. I was about to say, Ted, did you see the way he ran over that guy? He just trumped him. Got about four or five yards past the line to gain. That'll be another Falcon first down. ARC had a man there. It looked like they were going to get set, but he made a miss and he just kept trucking all, all along. Looked real good out there in the open field. Able to make that man miss. And that, that takes that from maybe a three, four yard loss to a, to a first down. Comes a snap, hand off to King. He'll be contact made at about the 30. He'll fall forward for about one more yard. Gained about three there. Ain't not easy to take down. He gets hit and just keeps fighting. Yeah. A referee timeout for the injury over there on the far side. Falcons rolling here on offense by second and seven from the 30-yard line. Here comes a snap. A misdirection play. That goes to Richardson. He's got room. He's still on his feet and he'll be in. design. Fake the handoff. We'll get a replay on that. Brought to you by Piggly Wiggly. He uh, faked the handoff right side misdirection. Comes back left to Richardson. Richardson made a man miss. Shoved off a tackle and then walked his way into the end zone. What a play. Tanner comes set for the kick. It is up. We'll take a break and we'll be right back with you. I'm Glenn Register at Hometown Supply. Come by today and let me show you all the different product lines that we carry. Just about anything that you need, we have it in stock. We do financing, we deliver just about anything a customer needs for us to do, we do. Come by and let me show you what sets us apart from all the rest. If you can't do business here, you just can't do business. I guess you could say. Both times that uh, ARC has uh, gotten a touchdown, East Lawrence comes back the very next drive and gets one of their own. We'll turn another flag comes in there. Been laundry on the field all night long. Richardson has been a game changer tonight. Had a huge reception to set up the first touchdown of the game for the Falcons. And then there, getting in the end zone himself. Definitely a candidate for our player of the game. Brought to you by Premier Heat and Air. Hang around for that directly after the game. We'll meet you down on the field for the player of the game. Brought to you by Premier Heating and Air. Falcons up 17 to 14 tap with four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the third. Offense is looking really good tonight. That they are. Able to move the ball well and then, you know, King, we mentioned him earlier, he, he's able to run the ball strong, make the, the ARC defense kind of respect the run game and then that opens up the, the play downfield. ARC going to be bagged up about 10 yards, I think on a holding call. A holding call, I believe yes, that's what it was. mentioned earlier that quarterback they got hurt and not come back into the game and here he is now both times he's been in the game it's been a QB keeper so we'll look for that here motion here comes a snap and he will keep it he'll go left and met by a ton of Falcons in there. at least two or three down there in the tackle the charge looked to be led by number 17 Logan Clements also in there on the tackle 
Number 57, Wesley Stanley. And number two, Tal Sneed. Yeah, Tal, that hole that he had, it just got stuffed up real quick by oh, those yeah. defenders. They were, like there, he, they were ready for it. Looked like he had somewhere to go, and then all of a sudden he did. That'll bring up about second and nine here. Not even a full yard they gained there. And the snap handoff of the middle. That'll gain some yards. It's going to be about a gain of four right there. Kendra Head there on the tackle. That'll bring up third and about five yards. It's an important third down for ARC. They really yes, need to convert this to keep their uh, momentum alive. I kind of feel as if the momentum you just mentioned is shifting the Falcons. Uh, here comes the snap. Play action. Doesn't have anybody. He'll look to make something happen himself. That ball's going to be incomplete. Had a guy open about nine yards past the sticks and just missed it. That'll bring up fourth and four. Come on to the field, so we'll see the Falcons on offense again. So the Falcons with a chance to make this a two possession game here. You feel as if we just mentioned the momentum has shifted to the Falcons side. Yeah, Chad, you got to feel really good as a coach with that three headed monster down there with Boston, Richardson, and uh, King. Oh, yeah. Sneed, been back all night to receive the punts. He's back there again. He's standing. Stop me. Mid sentence, we got a flag. I'm not sure what that was. We'll get the call here. Substitution on ARC, so it'll back it up some more. I was mentioning the, the good field position, the, the good spot on the field, I guess he was, that uh, Sneed was standing, and he'll step up about five yards. He's standing at the 40. So they're punting from, from deep in their own territory, about, about the 29. High snap. Kick is up. It's a pretty good punt. He'll take it at the 40. Look right, spin back left. Another flag. He's got room to work with out there. You gotta imagine that's coming back though. Both teams heavily penalized tonight. Yeah, Tab, there's been flag football all night for both teams. That's a good way to put it there, Austin. We'll see what that flag is. Even with all those flags, Tab, this still has not stopped this Falcons offense. They have been rolling all night. Absolutely. Here's the call. Holding on the Falcons. So they'll, they'll start that drive about where they receive the ball. Falcons will be first and 10 from their own 34 yard line. 34 yard line, so further back than where they, where they received that. Uh, that. The drive will start at the 34. See if the Falcons' good fortunes on offense will continue here. 238 left in the third quarter. That King in the backfield. Comes a snap. Handoff goes to him. He'll cut it back up the middle. Kind of stood up. There he gained about two yards. That'll bring up second and eight. King has kind of anchored this offense all night. Able to set up the downfield shots. Getting them tough yards is very important. Oh, right, right, absolutely. 205 and counting left in the third. Here comes the snap. Uh, it'll be QB keeper. He's got room. Good. What a good play design. An option play there. Zay decided to hold on to it and it paid off. That was about a 17 yard gain there. Gonna be brought down about the 49. 
So they have now moved into ARC territory. And ever since Zay's entered the game, this Falcons offense has been able to move the ball. Whether they scored or not, able to move the ball well. Two guys out wide left. Key man Richardson there in the slot. Looks left, well, fake the throw, and they'll run it back up the middle. Gain about three. I think that's going to be a face mask. I believe I saw that down there. Flag does come out. See what the official down on the field saw. I believe he, they intended for that, that to be a passing play, but kind of didn't really have room over there, so he took it himself. Gained about four. Let's see what this flag's about. Yeah, Tap, uh, for Boston being a heavier set dude, he sure can run. Oh, absolutely. It was, I believe, a face mask on the defense. Got to move the ball. 15 yards. That's going to give them an automatic first down right there, Tap, and put them in field goal territory. Ball set down on the 30. You mentioned them being in field goal range there. We've seen, uh, we've seen Connor kick some, some pretty far kicks. But clearly the Falcons don't want to settle for a field goal here. They want to make this game a, a two-possession game. Snap, they'll step back, look left. He's got Richardson over the top, wide open. Touchdown, Richardson. That's his second of the night. Gantavious Richardson has been a game changer for the Falcons tonight. We'll get that on a replay brought to you by Piglet Wiggly. Kind of fake the screen pass to the left. That opens up Richardson down the field, wide open on the left side. And he walks into the end zone for the touchdown. What a play. Falcons up 24-14. If this field goal goes in, or if this extra point goes in, either way, now a two-possession game for the Falcons. Those two have been just able to connect all night long, Austin. That's a, a beautiful duo there. Yeah, I mean, and Richardson and, and Zay. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, your family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin, Lawrence County, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Explosive play from the Falcons. Zay Boston able to, able to find Richardson over top, wide open. That gave the Falcons a 24-14 lead. ARC having two guys in the backfield. Short kick. Oh, that was it. And that's going to be spotted at about the 37, 36. There. ARC will take over first and 10 from their own 39. ARC is going to come onto the field now. The ball is going to be spotted at about 39 yard line. It'll be first and 10 from there. Got about 56 seconds left in the third. ARC looking to make something happen to get there, get within a, a touchdown range from the Falcons. Two guys wide left, closest to you. Here comes the snap, handoff of the middle. Eight's been a powerhouse for him all night. Running the ball real physically and strong. Gain of about two there. We got about 45 seconds left here in the third quarter. Yeah, Tab, you were talking about number eight being a really strong guy. Yeah, he's been getting some of them tough yards, but man, when you go against that Falcons defense, they keep stuffing them up. It don't, it ain't looking like too much for them. Def definitely not encouraging. D-line's been strong all night. Show pressure. Game again, about one yard. Defensive line. 
not looking impressive here. We got 15 seconds left here in the first quarter. Or third quarter, rather. I'm trying to restart the game over here. Yeah, Tab, five seconds left in the third quarter. Into the fourth quarter. You gotta love where the where the Falcons are standing at right now. You know, two possession lead, you gotta love where the, what the Falcons are doing on offense. And you gotta feel good about this last quarter. Absolutely. We'll head to the fourth and we'll take a break. We'll be North, South, East, or West, Friendly Gus is on your way today. Fuel up with Friendly Gus's delicious breakfast, made fresh every day. Your wallet and your belly will thank you. Choose from our 20, 40, and 60-piece chicken finger and wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus, on your way today. Also, shop Cochran Brothers Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson in Dublin for additional items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. This crowd named near took down the stadium as we entered the fort there. Falcons gonna take a timeout here. Falcons take a timeout right out of the uh, coming right out of the we're entering the fourth quarter rather. I guess coach didn't didn't like what he saw there. That'll leave both teams with two timeouts. with the way the defense is playing. Yeah, Tab, I mean, defense and offense, I mean, you, it, it's, and the Falcons coach, you just got to love what you're seeing from your team right now and heading forward into the season. Absolutely, and I mentioned earlier Coach Turner talking about wanting to see his boys bounce back. You guys absolutely seen that thus far through three quarters. We can hang on here. We got, we got one more quarter to make it through, and the Falcons will be back in the win column. As a coach, you just gotta love the progression that you've seen from this team from last year to this year. I mean, last year they lost 27 to six, and this year they're right. They're a two-score game. And a one in a one in nine team last year, like I say, only won one game. This would this would make it two, and we're only three games deep. So definitely an exciting future here at East. And ARC will send a guy in motion. That'll make it three guys left. And here comes the snap. He'll step. He'll look right. Kind of got some room to work there. That's going to be a first down. He's going to run out at about the 42, 43. 14-yard rush for the quarterback there. We've got a Falcon down. Looks like he's maybe cramping. We'll take a break, and we'll get right back with you. The heat is on at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, and you'll find a great deal on a new set of wheels from SUVs, trucks, cars, you name it, Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales has it. So come on in today and see TJ, Trey, Alan, Britt, or any of the friendly sales staff at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Log on to DublinAutosalesGA.com for more information or just come see us at 606 East Jackson in Dublin. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. The heat is on and it's time to get a great deal. The injured Falcon there with Marquez Harris, he's able to walk off the field on his own strength. Like I said, I believe he was just creeping there. ARC set up here third and six. Here comes the snap. He'll hand it off right side. Got plenty of room over there. I believe he's going to get the first down by inches. They're going to, let's see it. That's going to be fourth down. Okay, no, they'll call it first down. They will move the chains. I thought maybe they were short. Yeah, Tab, it looked a little short from up here, but, you know, the rest obviously with a closer look, they know better than us. Right. So that'll give uh, ARC a fresh set of downs. First and 10 from about the 32. ARC looking to make something happen here. And snap. And off goes left. Getting out there to the perimeter. Drug down finally at the 20. That'll be another first down for ARC. One thing I've seen tonight is ARC, when they try to run the ball up the middle, not much going. But when they can get out on the perimeter, the Falcons just not quick enough to keep up. So I'm sure Coach Turner is putting in a game plan to kind of 
keep ARC contained there in the middle. Either way, an impressive game defensively here for the Falcons. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you one more time about the Premier Heating and Air Player of the Game coming to you right after the game's over. He's going to hand it off. He's going to get brought down behind the line of scrimmage. That ball came out off and he was able to, it kind of fell right back into his lap, but kind of slowed anything he had going. So, like you said, he lost two yards there. Or lost one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Yeah, what a great, what a great momentum uh, blocker for East Lawrence. That looked like ARC was starting to get something cooking up, and that last play just kind of shut it all down. Hopefully, the Falcons can keep it up and get a good stop here. Three guys out wide left, one far right. Comes a snap, guy in motion, left side. He's looking deep, doesn't really have anybody. He'll take off. Quarterback, quick, still in bounds there. Drug out, got a gain of about 10. There'll be a flag late. I believe that's going to go against East Lawrence. Maybe a, a late hit there. Quarterback for ARC, has got some quick feet. Yeah, he's got some Stetson Bennett type mobility. <laughs> there it is. Shout out, Step. East Lauren's going to substitute some guys out. Waiting the call. I'm, I'm almost certain that's going to be a late hit. Hey. ARC's QB kind of showed as if he was going to hop out of bounds and then hop right back in and got about two more yards after. That's going to bring up what I believe to be second and one. First and foul on the Falcons. Half the distance to the goal. So uh, that'll give him a fresh set of downs. Half the distance to the goal there. That'll set up first and goal for ARC on the five-yard line. Falcons are going to have to come up with a stand here. ARC looking to make it interesting. That penalty seems like it's going to hurt more than help, if anything. Obviously, you know, with the Falcons, when they get penalties, uh, this being, being this close to the, uh, the end zone, the Falcons have been able to air it out more. But this team, ARC, they've been, they've been a run-heavy team so far. And just getting that far back is going to hurt them. Falcons good in the secondary, able to kind of contain the, the pass, like you said. They'll roll out left. One thing we have not been able to contain is that quarterback when he gets loose. He'll get that ball back up to about the six-yard line. That'll make it. That'll make it second and goal, I believe. I'm kind of lost here on my downs. I think I believe that will be second down. It's gonna be first and goal. Tap about six to go. Here comes the snap. The handoff will go up the middle. He'll get to about the three yard line. So that'll, that'll bring up third and third and goal. From the three, Falcons will substitute some guys out. Got a big third down here, Tab. East Lawrence is going to have to get a stop right here. Keep their comfortable lead. Marquez Harris came out there. Josiah Wright came in. The, stand, the fans will get on their feet here for this third and goal. Very important play. Got two guys wide right. There's the snap. Hand off will go up the middle. He's going to get brought off the middle. Of the five. Loss of about two yards. Good. Defensive stand up for the Falcons. You gotta imagine ARC is gonna go for this. It'd be fourth and goal from about the five-yard line. 
Beautiful defense by the Falcons. Here we go, Austin. This game, or this play rather, could pretty well decide this game. Yeah, Chad, it looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down, fourth and five. They're going to have to. Big fourth down right here, Tyler fans. Let's get Two possession game, 740 left. Here we go. I just need another big stop here. There's going to be a timeout ARC there. So don't think about it. We'll take that break with them. We'll be right back. Hey, my name's Chandler Gerard. I'm Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. And here at A-Plus Flooring and Construction, we believe in teamwork. Come let our team service you with floor and construction and garage doors. So come shop with us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction at 371 Georgia Highway 338 or visit our website at aplusconstruction.biz. Or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Thank you. representative for Lawrence County is proud to support our local high schools, our East Orange Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Orange Raiders, Matt Hatchett, representative for Lawrence County. Go team! She also would like, obviously, a touchdown, but a field goal would be nice, again, to make it a two-possession game. That way, ARC kind of has to hope for some bad fortune to, to get back into it. Here comes the snap. And all left. He'll gain about five, six. That'll bring out third. centerpiece of that offense all night that's been able to set up the explosive plays we've seen in the passing game. Three guys split wide right. 
King remain in the backfield with Zay Boston. Here comes a snap. And off we go left. He'll cut it back inside and get to a bell. Let's see where they mark this. And that's another big Owen State Farm first down. And call it a first down. There we go. So the Falcons get a first set of downs. We got six minutes left to go. Yeah, Chad, that was a pretty hard, uh, well-fought first down. Uh, hard run. King just getting them tough yards, giving them the first down. Maybe uh, potentially setting them up for a big play. Definitely got the playmakers to make it happen. We've seen that tonight. Got King in the backfield with Zay Boston. Chewing some clock here. QB keeper. He'll gain about one until he's slammed down. Yeah, Todd, you can definitely tell Falcons are just trying to run this clock down and get out of this game without just being insult on the sideline there. Coordinator just kind of telling Zeta to hang tight. Let the play clock take down a little bit. Chewed off about two minutes thus far. Second and nine now. Tried to cut in there, but an ARC defender just called him lacking. All right. We'll see what the, the call there is. Looks like. So it's going to be holding on East. That ball back up a little bit. Set up a little bit of a tougher second down. With that, Gavin Dice will step off. It's going to be about second and 19. They got to go from the 40 to the 40 here. Here comes the snap. Pitch left. He's got room. They'll put a move on a man there at about 50. Five four for about another five. Another four. Second or third and six, rather. So good run. Again, King has been impressive all night. Third down and six for the Falcons. Kind of lean on him when they're in a the hole, and he, he's provided all night long. Yeah, Tad, he's been a very productive back tonight for the Falcons. Uh, looking to close this game out, we got a little under four minutes left. There's the snap. They'll drop back to pass. Look right. He's got a man over the middle. That'll be broken up good. Defense there by ARC. Intended receiver there was DeMichael Carswell. He was open, just kind of underthrown a little bit. If that ball would have been half an inch higher, that's a touchdown. Good throw. Just better defense. Yeah, Tab, even if it was not a touchdown, it would have definitely been put him in field goal range, give them, just extend their lead, give them a little cushion. We'll have to forget all about that. Falcons will come on to punt. Connor Tanner, again, the man ready to punt. ARC's got a man waiting at about the 17-16 about the yards. So they'll punt the ball away with 341 left here. Things could get interesting. There's the punt. Good high punt. It'll fall in about the 20. All of his punts have spun back tonight. But a, a bounce not favorable for East Lawrence. That ball will be down at about the 24. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. 
The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. ARC here on offense for what certainly is their most important of the night. And off of the middle, he'll cut it right a little bit. Try to find a hole over there. There's nothing. That's, he got it back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. That'll bring up second and ten. We got 325 and counting left. ARC moving with tempo, trying to keep as much time on that clock as possible. Hand off will go up the middle again. Stumbles at about the line of scrimmage and falls forward for Another good one. Another good tackle by three, Brandon McWilliams. Third and nine, so Stafton's making a stand thus far. We'll see what they can do. Certainly fourth down territory. Oh, yeah. The fans will come to their feet for this third down and nine. Big third down here from the Falcons top. This third down could have potentially put this game away. ARC got a lot of guys out. Out wide. Here's Snap. He's looking to throw. He gets out the pocket. He's going to get brought down. Big sack. Big sack. Kendrick Head on the sack. Kendrick Head with the sack on third down. That'll make it fourth and way long. ARC is going to have to fight out of a big hole if they want to win this football game now. The Falcons have not had a sack all night and get one there in the most important, certainly the most important time in the game. By far the most important drive. That'll make it fourth and what is that? Fourth and 20. So they're going to have to do a lot of work to make up for that sack. That is a sack you just cannot take as a quarterback. Wow. They're going for the fourth down right here, Tab. Don't have to. Here comes the snap. There's a flag. Looking left. Doesn't have anything. How about That's six? Got two, two flags on the two field, Two flags tab. on the field. I'm afraid one of them may be a late hit. We'll wait and see if that holds up. If so, that's going to be a Falcons win. Yeah, Chad, you gotta love, if you're a coach, you just got to love what you've been seeing from your team all night. Just getting it, yeah, that important stop in the end zone down there, making them get that field goal instead. I mean, that's just a, that was just a game changer for them. Absolutely. Look like LeKendrick head kind of <laughs> stepped off the field there with with some cramping. He's the one who just got that all-important third down sack. So we await the call here from the official. They're down there discussing. Here comes the call. First down, Falcons. First down. So the call there was an illegal forward pass. Obviously, the Falcons declined that. They'll take the turnover on down, and that'll most certainly be game. We got a minute 36 left here. The Falcons will get back in the win column tonight. What a game. Don't forget, hang with us. We got the uh, player of the game brought to you by Premier Heat and Air. We'll meet you down on the field as soon as this game ends. So the These signs will bring their offense out. See, the ref's still discussing. Kind of discussing the, the spot of the ball. We'll take a break right here and we'll, we'll come back to you. School's back in and we all know what that means. There's oh, the yeah. oh. God, get Whether it's football or softball or any other fall sport, Dublin Chevy GMC is here for you. 
Fall is in the air here in middle Georgia, but the deals are still smoking hot at Dublin Chevy GMC. Line up in that first group right now! The scouts say we can't catch, throw, or run well, but they all agree we sure do sell cars well at Dublin Chevy GMC. These fans are getting a little restless with these uh, refs over here. Oh, yeah. Going to be another flag on the Falcons. It's going to back them up about another 10. 10, yeah. That'll make it, if they redo first down, it'll be first and 20. If not, second and 20. You know, the refs can't stop doing their job because the wind's locked in. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's happy. Absolutely. Right. Seen Falcon set. Two guys wide. Right. They're going to let this play clock go all the way down. Hand off. Just don't want to get out of bounds. Keep on ticking. We get down under a minute now. It stops for. I'm not sure why it stopped. There it goes. So we're at 55 seconds now. That's still rolling. Play clock's at 31, so we'll have to run two more plays. And ARC is going to call a timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. How to outsmart the outdoors. Think fast. That needs work. That needs trimming. That needs cleanup. But all that work takes a lot of tools. Lucky for you, that tool, that tool, that one, they're all the same tool. That's smart. Super smart. That's the Echo Pro Attachment Series. Gas-powered. Battery-powered. 16 attachments for hedging, edging, trimming, tilling, cutting, blowing, paddling. Yeah, that too. It's outdoor grade, professional grade, commercial grade, which is great for making your yard look like it belongs in a commercial. Echo. Power on and on. Hey, I'm TJ with Dublin Outdoors and Power Sports, formerly known as Myers Equipment Supply. We're your full line sales and service dealer for Echo and Shindawa handheld products. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. They've reset the clock to 55 seconds. It's second down. ARC has no more timeouts left. They're taking a knee. That was an interesting call. It kind of confused me. I thought they were sitting to pass the ball for a second. Yeah, Tab, it was uh, pretty, kind of caught me off guard too. Lucky like he was going to pass and then he just kind of dropped down and took that knee. So, the game clock, the game clock and the play clock are almost identical. I'm trying to see which one's ahead, but it looks like the game clock is definitely a third down for the foul by split second. 20 seconds left on the clock, people. So, if they take one more knee, that'll be it. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a great game down here. We'll meet you at down on the That's field the for the player of the game. Falcons win 24-17. If your family's hot and miserable, just add an AC tune-up for only $109 from Premier Heating and Air, and you'll be cool and happy. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Dane Richardson out here at TV35, Premier Heat and Air, player of the game. Uh, heck of a game tonight. Two touchdown receptions, one big, tu uh, one big reception that set up the first touchdown for you guys. We want to present you the trophy for the TV35, Premier Heat and Air, player of the game. You. So you got anything safe for yourself. Good night, man. All right, first of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank my family, my teammates, and everybody. And I don't know. I'm just real thankful for the win. All right, thank you, thank man. You. Thank you. Appreciate it.